Okay, we got this chimney here with the brand new chimney chase cover not leaking so far as we know at the top. We got this leak right in here at this exact area right here. And then when it rained hard, it climbed up to maybe in here. And, and pretty bad. It runs right in and fills a pot. So we got some flashings over here around the corner. Just typical roof flashings. It would look like this right around on the other side. And there's a saddle in back of there. And we don't trust any of this siding because of the fact that it's not nailed properly and getting loose. And we don't know where it is, where the leak is. We tried to seal in here, right at the baseline, right in here with a whole bunch of seal. You can see our brand new uh, shiny uh, sealants there. And that didn't seem to stop it. It's just got errors, it needs work. I think it needs to be completely resided. And that's the job. You can count the ladder rungs right there to see how much you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen feet of siding right there. And also he wants this uh, replaced right here. Get rid of this little uh, three by two. And maybe make it blend in better by doing the whole panel area right here by the door. This whole area here and up into there. I don't know about that. What do you think? Maybe you can make it blend. Maybe you have to do the whole back of the house there. We're going to be doing the chimney anyhow. So your call on that if you can get it to blend. And the color is just a beige. It looks pretty much just like you're looking at. It's got kind of a light greenish tint, but it is kind of rain and you can't really tell. I think it's a weatherwood. So there you go. And it's the four inch uh, vinyl. That's it. Remove all this siding here in this first half. See if you can fix the leak that way, otherwise do the whole top.